All right, I want to show you what it looks like in southern Utah. This is coming out of the Black Desert Resort, where we have a, quite a bit of showers, a whole lot of wet weather activity, not only in southern Utah, but up here in the north. This picture coming out of Magna just about an hour ago from Scott Taylor. We're seeing a lot of storms roll through that area as we speak. Take a look at our foreign radar. You see, we have thunderstorms across most of the state. I want to zoom in here so that we could get a closer look at these storms in northern Utah. A lot of them have passed over the Magna area and a lot of the Wasatch Front is in the clear for now, but we definitely have more day to go. More thunderstorms are expected to impact the area pretty soon. A lot of lightning, winds of up to 57 miles an hour, which is just one mile an hour short of the criteria for severe thunderstorms. So very strong thunderstorms out there. Bringing it down to southern Utah where you saw the Black Desert Resort Cam, there's that thunderstorm that you saw on the camera just to the east of Ivins where Black Desert Resort is. But that's starting to die out. Again, I don't believe that's gonna be the last storm rolling through Washington County tonight. It is in a flash flood warning, two flash flood warnings actually in Washington County right now. Fort Pierce Wash, Zion National Park, Colab Canyon, La Verkin Creek, and Bear Trap Canyon, all in the impacted areas. You're gonna to wanna to stay away from these places because flash flooding can occur with little to no warning, even if it's not raining in your area. Storm threat stays strong for tomorrow. What you see here in the dark green indicates a marginal risk, which means isolated severe thunderstorms are possible. The biggest concern here is gonna be the wind, wind gusts of 58 miles an hour or more. We were just talking about that, the criteria for a severe thunderstorm. Flood alerts are also in place. We have a flood watch for Southern Utah, the Southern Mountains, Central Mountains, and the Wasatch Plateau and Book Cliffs. This is in effect now until 10 o'clock tonight. We also have flood advisories and the flood warnings that we were just talking about a couple minutes ago in effect. So it's not gonna be a good day to be going outside. Our outdoor recreation areas, although the flash flood potential isn't as high as it was yesterday, it's still gonna be possible for all of the national and state parks down there. Grand Staircase and Escalante is in the probable category. So stay away from these areas. Futurecast is gonna walk us through the next couple of days. A lot of this precipitation is gonna to start to taper on out as we get into the later hours. By ABC News at 10, we do have another wave of wet weather for the Wasatch Front. And a a lot of moisture is still going to be sticking around on the eastern side of this state and we can see some showers in Utah Valley as well. Thunderstorms are going to be holding on late into the night but not all night so hopefully you'll be able to catch some sleep. We've had a lot of thunder over the past few nights. By Monday that wet weather potential picks up yet again sticking mainly to the higher elevations but like we just mentioned severe storms are still going to be possible for much of northern and central Utah. Clears out again overnight and by Tuesday it's going to be clear for most of Utah. We get a little bit of a break but the higher elevations do still hold on to that wet weather potential before clearing out overnight. As for tomorrow, temperatures are going to be right around average, 94 degrees for Salt Lake. We have 90s all the way down the I-15, 87 for Cedar City and Lake Powell and St. George are not breaking triple digits. We love to hear that. 98 degrees is going to be the high in St. George tomorrow. Northern Utah is going to be stormy. Central Utah is going to be stormy. And Southern Utah is gonna be stormy. We love that word today, stormy, stormy, stormy. A whole lot of active weather. And storms do hold on to St. George into tomorrow. There is that slight chance, but it's gonna clear out by the afternoon into the evening. Slight chance on Wednesday. The highest potential for wet weather in St. George is gonna be on Thursday. The Wasatch Front has a little bit more wet weather. Isolated thunderstorms for tomorrow, picking back up on Thursday and Friday with the slight chance on Wednesday and Saturday. So. Take advantage of Tuesday and Wednesday when you when it comes. We're breaking free of the wet weather for now. Back to the desk.